This is one of multiple Geno3 lab videos. Now we need to use Wireshark to view the output in real time and answer some questions. So a great thing about Geno3 is we can very easily do Wireshark captures. So I'm going to capture PPP between router 1 and router 3 as well as capture PPP between router 1 and router 4. So we see constant keep alives between the two sides, making sure that the link is still up. But what I'll do now is shut the link on both router 3 and router 4 and then re-enable them. Shut, no shut, no shut. Okay, so this is the link between router one and router three. So scrolling down, we see a configuration request. Notice we are told that it's password authentication protocol and there's also a magic number associated with the connection. We are using point-to-point -point protocol. So notice it's PPP at layer two, and then we have a link control protocol as part of PPP. Scrolling down, there's an acknowledgement. So it's going both directions because both sides acknowledge. Authentication request, peer ID is router three. We can see the password in clear text here. So in the data, we can see router three, password is Cisco. On this side, authentication request, PID is router one, password is Cisco. There's an acknowledgement of the passwords. So authentication passes, but notice the problem with PAP. The passwords are shown in clear text on the link. There's then a configuration request. Notice the protocol used now is PPP IPCP. In other words, network control protocol. IP address is that. And then we have this IP address. So the two sides are configuring their IP addresses. We've also got interface identifiers. This is for IP version six. So going up here, we've got our authentication passing. Then we've got IP version four negotiation, IP version six negotiation, and then we've got CDP negotiation. Then there's a configuration acknowledgement, configuration request, configuration acknowledgement for the various protocols. And notice now we see IP version six neighbor advertisement messages, neighbor solicitation messages and so forth. So a bunch of IP version six information. Then we see CDP information. We can see the platform as an example and the port ID of router three and then something similar for router one. Serial interface is two slash one. It's a 3725 router. And then we have the keeper lives between the two routers. So scrolling up to the PAP authentication, notice we can see it's PAP. We can see the passwords in clear text. So let's see if we can answer some of the questions. What options does LCP negotiate? We can see here that it's negotiating options such as authentication being the protocol PAP. On the devices using CHAP, notice the protocol used here is Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol or CHAP. We can see that CHAP is using MD5. Magic number is also displayed in the output here. So they're negotiating to use CHAP. There's an acknowledgement of that. And notice in the output, we see the CHAP challenges. So router one is challenging router four and router four is challenging router one. So this is the PPP protocol using CHAP. So notice the challenges 
and the chap responses to those challenges are hashed. They are not sent in clear text. We do see successful messages after the challenges, authentication information and password was successfully authenticated. And then we move to IPCP negotiation with the IP address of the device on both sides. And then similar to the previous router negotiation, we have CDP negotiation taking place. So what options does LCP negotiate? Things like authentication. Does PAP use clear text authentication? The answer is yes. Can we prove it? Yes, we can. We can see the actual passwords on the wire. So passwords are in clear text. What hashing algorithm does CHAP use? We saw that as well. Here's the CHAP routers. Scrolling up, we can see in the configuration request messages that CHAP is being used and we're using MD5. So MD5 hashing is being used for CHAP. Does CHAP hash passwords? Yes, it does. In CHAP, the passwords are hashed. They are not shown in clear text. Can you see the IPCP negotiation? The answer is yes, we can. We can see this kind of stuff. So PPP, IPCP, notice the negotiation taking place. That's using PAP. And with CHAP, we can see something similar. Notice PPP, IPCP, there's the negotiation of IP address information between the two routers. So the last step is to enable EIGRP and prove that all routers can ping each other.